His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadibiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Silver Jubilee, noting the wide-ranging achievements attained under the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty. The cabinet affirmed the importance of His Majesty's address on this occasion. In commemoration of the significant milestone, His Royal Highness directed the launch of many initiatives, projects, programs and events to celebrate the Silver Jubilee from March until December of this year. On the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, the cabinet extended its congratulations to His Majesty the King and wished further progress to Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness issued a directive for the opening, restoration and development of 32 mosques belonging to the Sunni and Ja'fari Waqfs across the kingdom's governorates. As part of the development plan for mosques, he ordered the allocation of the necessary budget for the development plan, ensuring the adoption of modern and Islamic designs and the rebuilding and enhancement of mosques. He also directed the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs in coordination with the concerned authorities to allocate sites and expedite the design and construction of the mosques. The cabinet then followed up on the availability of consumer goods in the market and the impact of measures taken to enhance response to market needs to ensure price stability. They highlighted the efforts of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce along with the commercial sector to ensure price stability and the abundance of consumer goods during the holy month. The cabinet hailed Bahrain e-passports, winning the Best New Passport Award for 2024 in the Europe, Middle East and Africa region during the High Security Printing Award Ceremony. The cabinet said that the award reflects the excellence of the national workforce that oversaw the design and execution of the e-passport project. In light of community partnership and belonging to the Nation Day, the cabinet highlighted Team Bahrain's commitment, diligence and passion, values that have contributed to the furthering of Kingdom's comprehensive development, and commended the Ministry of Interior's initiatives and its role in consolidating community partnership and national belonging. The cabinet then approved the following, a memorandum by the Minister of Interior regarding the classification of several entities and individuals as terrorist entities, and the second submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding Bahrain's contribution to the GCC's land transport strategy. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance requesting the approval of the National Space Science Authority to join the Space for Climate Observatory Initiative. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding Bahrain joining the Carbon Management Challenge. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Bahrain and the Georgian National Communications Commission of Georgia. And the sixth memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then took note of the following ministerial reports. The outcomes of the participation in the 14th IEA-IEF OPEC Symposium on Energy Outlooks. The outcomes of the participation in the Mobile World Congress. The outcomes of the participation in the Global Technical Conference LEAP 24. The outcomes of the participation in the 30th session of the Committee on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The outcomes of the participation in the 8th meeting of the GCC Ministerial Committee for Food Safety. The participation in the 3rd Annual International Conference of the Saudi Center for Commercial Arbitration. And the participation in the celebration marking 100 million international and local tourists visiting Saudi Arabia in 2023. The commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, arrived in the Pakistani capital Islamabad on an official visit. His Highness was received upon arrival at Noor Khan Air Base by the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee of the Armed Forces of Pakistan, General Sahar Shamdad Mirza, Bahrain's Ambassador to Pakistan, Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed, Senior Pakistani Army Commanders, and a representative from Pakistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Manama will host the first round of the Emirates World Cup for Arabian Horses Beauty in the Middle East on the 14th to the 16th of March as part of the activities of the Bahrain Championship for Local Production. His Highness expressed pride in the kingdom hosting of the event, stressing that choosing Bahrain to be the first top in the Middle East for this global championship is clear evidence of the prestigious position of the kingdom as one of the largest strongholds for purebred Arabian horses. 
His Highness added that the directors of His Majesty the King called for efforts aimed at caring for Arabian horses, as they are an integral part of the heritage of the kingdom and the GCC. He appreciated the efforts made by the UAE and the interest it gives to Arabian horses, which constitute a clear reflection of the purebred heritage in the region. His Highness praised the patronage of the Vice President of the State, Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Association of the Emirates Arabian Horses, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, which has strengthened its position as a global station in this sport. His Highness stressed that holding this event reinforces the successes achieved by the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation in organizing various tournaments, which confirm the kingdom's position as an ideal destination for holding Arabian Horse Beauty Championships. His Highness wished the stables and owners participating in the tournament success. For his part, the President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser's patronage of the Arabian Horse Beauty Championship, which contributes to achieving further development and successes at the level of equestrian sports. His Highness praised the prominent role played by the UAE in the field of equestrian sports, praising His Highness Sheikh Mansour's patronage of equestrian sports, which yielded positive results that enhanced the UAE's status at the international level. He stressed the keenness of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation to harness all capabilities to highlight and make Bahrain local production championship in the first round of the Emirates World Cup for Arabian Horses in the Middle East and success, wishing all participants success. His Highness expressed his great appreciation for the supportive partner and sponsors, praising their prominent role in holding this event. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the National Bank of Bahrain Multiple Sclerosis Center project in Amhara Governorate, which is affiliated with government hospitals. The Chairman praised the great support that the health sector receives from His Majesty the King and the close follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He said that this achievement comes to serve citizens and meeting their needs as well as embodying the objectives of the National Health Plan. 2015-2026. He pointed out that the center comes as a result of community partnership between the public and private sectors and reflects the belief of national companies and social responsibility in developing the society through the implementation of projects of public benefits. He praised the generous support provided by the National Bank of Bahrain to finance the establishment of equipment of the center according to the best medical and engineering standards. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al Limbarak, affirmed the Ministry's commitment to providing all tires of support to all Bahraini farmers, in line with the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister praised the success achieved by Farmers Market in its 11th edition and its ability to attract more than 230,000 visitors, as it continued for 12 weeks since its launch. He appreciated the great support that Market was receiving from the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, NIAD, headed by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women and head of the Advisory Council for NIAD. For her part, the Secretary General of the NIAD, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, expressed happiness at the success and distinction of this edition of the farmers' market. Based on the nomination of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the General Secretariat of the GCC honored the Secretary General of the SCW Lulwa Al Awadi for her distinguished giving and efforts made throughout her years of work in her various job positions. On the occasion, the General Secretariat of the GCC held a celebration on International Women's Day under the patronage of the GCC Secretary General Jossam Libdawi. Al Awadi was honored on the 26th of last December among a group of honorees from the GCC and the of celebrating Gulf women and highlighting their creativity in assuming many leadership positions in the GCC and the efforts of these countries in the field of women's empowerment. On the sidelines of the celebration, Al Awadi participated in the dialogue session on the topic of balancing personal work and life, through which she emphasized that women in the Gulf have reached an advanced stage and a partner in development. She submitted a proposal regarding the necessity of adopting program on how to develop measures of mechanisms that enable Gulf women to reconcile their role in the family and their role in social life.
The Bahrain Board announced the Ring of Bell for Gender Equality event, the launch of the Board Mentorship Program in collaboration with BIBF, which aims to promote gender equality in capital markets. The event was held in conjunction with the 105 international exchanges and clearing houses with a week of bell ringing activities in the presence of Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Khaled Ahmedan. Bahrain Boards worked in collaboration with the BIBF to establish a Board Mentorship Program, which aims to cultivate broad, ready candidates through a specialized training program tailored for broad directors positions. The program aims to equip partners, participants with the requisite knowledge and expertise necessary for leadership roles on corporate boards, foster governance excellence and enable them to steer their respective organization towards success and sustainability. This five-week program will include a rigorous screening pro process where 20 senior executive professionals will be selected based on specific criteria to participate. The Coast Guard Command continued to implement inspection and awareness campaigns in marine and coastal areas in cooperation and coordination with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and the Labor Markets Regulatory Authority as part of the implementation of law and order to address maritime violations in Bahrain's territorial waters. These campaigns come as part of the national efforts to preserve marine wealth by ensuring that seafarers and fishermen comply with laws and decisions regulating fishing operations, the validity of marine fishing licenses of various types of small vessels, in addition to ensuring the availability and validity of marine safety tools and verifying the safety procedures of workers on these vessels. The Coast Guard Command urged all to abide by the laws and regulations, adding that it has implemented all security measures against violators by referring their cases to public prosecution. An implementation of the directors of His Majesty the King, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, delivered seven fully equipped ambulances to the Jordan Hashima Charity Organization for the Jordanian Field Hospital in Gaza. The ambulances include two mobile clinics provided by KAF, a humanitarian, and the Palestine Support Society through the Bahrain National Committee for supporting the Palestinian people in Gaza. During its visit to the capital, Amman, the delegation was also briefed on the procedures for treating sick and wounded Palestinians at the King Hussein Cancer Center. The Secretary General of the RHF, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, said that the foundation, led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, continues its efforts in supporting the Palestinian people in Gaza. For his part, the Secretary General of the Jordan Hashmat Charity Organization, Dr. Hussein Shibli, praised the directors of His Majesty to provide aid to the Palestinian people in light of the humanitarian conditions they are experiencing as a result of the ongoing war in Gaza. He said the Jordanian Hashmat Charitable Organization, in cooperation with the RHF, received a group of wounded and sick Palestinians from Gaza who are under treatment in Jordanian hospitals.